The intention for today's Mass is for Carmela and Vincent Spinelli. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, as we gather on this day of Advent, let us prepare to enter into the sacred mysteries of Christ by calling to mind our need for the pardon of our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh may, when he at last comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Song of Songs. Hark, my lover, here he comes, springing across the mountains, leaping across the hills. My lover is like a gazelle or a young stag. Here he stands behind our wall, gazing through the windows, peering through the lattices. My lover speaks. He says to me, arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one, and come. For see, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone. The flowers appear on the earth, the time of the pruning of the vines has come, and the song of the dove is heard in our land. The fig tree puts forth its figs, and the vines in bloom give forth fragrance. Arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. O oh, my dove, in the clefts of the rocks, in the secret recesses of the cliff, let me see you, let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and you are lovely. The word of the Lord. Exult, you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Exult, you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exult, you just in the Lord. Sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exult, you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Exult, you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. We continue with the scripture readings in this fourth week of Advent with a, a series of annunciations to Elizabeth and Zechariah, Mary and Joseph, and today indirectly, we might say even to John the Baptist, the herald of the Lord, mediated by the contact between his mother, Elizabeth, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, who has come to her in this beautiful and dramatic scene. The visitation, as we know it, is, of course, also the second myst joyful mystery of the rosary. Pope St. John Paul II said in his extended meditation on the rosary, his encyclical on the rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that the keynote of this second mystery of the visitation is that of exaltation. Exaltation is the theme that is echoed on each of the passages today of the Song of Songs in the first reading where the bride anticipates with joy the coming of her bridegroom in the psalm itself, which tells us to exult for the Lord is near. And here we see Mary who goes up into the hill country of Judah the place where David first found the Ark of the Covenant, herself an Ark of the Covenant, bearing in her the new covenant of the body and blood of Christ. She, in a way, the first tabernacle of history. And she comes to Elizabeth, and through the voice and the face and the presence of Mary, Elizabeth adores her Lord. Mary is for us, too, so often a mediator for Jesus that we might know him better. As she was with him throughout his ministry, not only at the Annunciation and the Nativity, but at Cana, at Calvary, at so many of his teachings and preachings, and in the upper room after the resurrection, and in all likelihood, as Pope John Paul theorizes in the upper room also at the Last Supper. Mary was present with Christ at all times. She who bore the body and blood of the splendor of the Father into this world also enriches for us our knowledge, our contact, our intimate connection with Christ through the Eucharist. We have the great privilege of, of making that encounter in each and every sacrifice of the Holy Mass, where the body and blood of Christ is made manifest to us again. In fact, is given to us to transform us, not just in our minds, but in our very self it's, as well. Let us pray today in this Holy Advent season that we will grow in our appreciation for Christ in the Eucharist, and that we will do so by our prayer and our meditation on the mysteries of Mary's life in connection with the gospel. Let us pray. We pray for the church, for all of our leaders, our pope, our bishops, and our pastoral leaders locally, that they all may be vehicles of Christ for their people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that each and every one of us may come better to know and appreciate Mary's faith in order to deepen our own faith as well. We pray to the Lord, Lord that Mary, who believed what the Lord had spoken to her, may be our model as we seek to believe in what the Lord speaks to us. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear 
for the sick and the suffering, the needy and the poor, and for peace throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. And for all those who have asked for our prayers, and in a particular way for the intention of today's Mass, for Carmela and Vincent Spinelli, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear the prayers we offer and grant us what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice from your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his presence and proclaimed his coming when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Sancto. Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabbat, Leni Sun Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in Excelsis, Benedictus qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you 
and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium Fidei Mortem Tuam Annunciamus Domine Et Tuam Resurrectionem Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another a sign of the peace of Christ. him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body. Through Christ our Lord, amen. We invite you to remain with us for the devotional prayers after the conclusion of the Mass. The Lord be with you. Bow down for God's blessing. As you run the race of this present life, may God make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Litany of St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Have mercy. Christ, hear 
refuge and protector of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph, most just. Pray for us. Joseph, most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph, most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph, most strong. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. An act of consecration to St. Joseph by St. Alphonsus Liguri. O holy patriarch, I rejoice with you at the exalted dignity by which you were deemed worthy to act as father to Jesus, to give him orders and to be obeyed by him whom heaven and earth obey. O great saint, as you were served by God, I too wish to be taken into your service. I choose you, after Mary, to be my chief advocate and protector. I promise to honor you every day by some special act of devotion and by placing myself under your daily protection. By that sweet company which Jesus and Mary gave you in your lifetime, protect me all through life so that I may never separate myself from my God by losing his grace. My dear St. Joseph, pray to Jesus for me. Certainly, he can never refuse you anything as he obeyed all your orders while on earth. Tell him to detach me from all creatures and from myself, to inflame me with his holy love, and then to do with me what he pleases. By that assistance, which Jesus and Mary gave you at death, I beg of you to protect me in a special way at the hour of my death, so that dying assisted by you in the company of Jesus and Mary, I may go to thank you in paradise and in your company to praise my God for all eternity, amen. The Lord be with you. And may almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen.